All right, so welcome back to Thriving Teen. I just realized I don't have the TTT. I do. Thriving. Well, let's teen. get deeper. Thriving Teens. Okay, she's TTT. TTT. You got the point. TTT. I made a new shirt, BR Havens. <laughs> Period. <laughs> anyway, uh, I made a couple of new shirts, but you know, just to change it up and spice it up. But let's get deeper. That's not the topic of it today. Um, so today, what we are talking about, do y'all know her, aka, what's your aka today? We Coco. have two, okay, aka Coco over here. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> too much. AKA Coco over here has joined me yet again. Thank you for she. I love her. Thanks for having me. Yes. Okay. So um, today we are talking about getting ready to talk to your parents. We are talking about t- talking to your parents, but y'all are like. Have you met my parents? Can I don't know how to talk to them. Them mm-hmm. people, like, you know, they get home and then they got a straight face. I don't know how to talk to them. I'm going to do a PSA for you. Parents, your kids want to talk to you. Okay? So send this to your parent, by the way. Send this to your parent. But parents, your kids want to talk to you. Relax your bones a little bit. You were a kid once. They're not as bad as you or as good as you. They're just them. So allow them to be them. And they they don't have anything bad that they want to say to you, but they just want to get into a deeper relationship with you and build up. So that's the PSA for parents. Now back to teens. All right. So now how, talking to your parents, right? Setting the foundation to talk to them. When is a good time to approach a parent to discuss something? It doesn't have to be something bad, but when is it a good time to seek a deeper relationship with your parents? Or to discuss something that's on your heart that maybe they did that you didn't like or you got something, some news to tell them. When is the appropriate time to approach them? When is the appropriate time? Mm-hmm. Why are you thinking that? I'll tell you when is not the appropriate time. When they're upset. When they just walked in from work because, you know, they're tired. Um, when you did something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> They just finished yelling at you. This is not mom, dad. We need to talk. Don't do it. Don't abort mission. Don't do it. You didn't do your chores. Don't talk to them about nothing. Okay. So when is the appropriate time when they're relaxed? They seem like in a good mood. Sometimes it's kind of hard to gauge our parents' mood. Yeah. But they seem like they're not upset at you. They could be upset at somebody else, but they're not upset at you. <laughs> <laughs> something not saying that you're trying to bribe them but do something you know nice or whatever if you see them all the time and you never compliment them you know maybe you should compliment they may ask you what do you want that's a good time to ask them because you have their attention okay yeah in my opinion i think that was good yeah Yeah. or like after they've just had a good meal yes and i was gonna say when they're watching their favorite tv show but no you'd be annoying because i was to say yeah yeah. (laughs) I guess when you see that they're not busy, when yeah. they don't seem occupied, they seem and to if be they're in busy, mood. maybe help them. So, like if they're busy in the kitchen, mm. go in the kitchen and you know, help them with things. You know, easy how way into the, ease the your way. You can't just point blank, it's not gonna work, but ease your way. They're in the kitchen, you know, help them with whatever it is that they're doing. Sometimes you ain't got a clue what they're doing, but pretend, you know, do something. You know, you know, mom, dad, or whatever guardian you have, how can I help you with this? Most of the time, they will guide you on what they need help with. Sometimes it's even just sitting with them. I feel like, because, you know, as a teenager, y'all don't spend a lot of time with your parents. Believe it or not, your parents want you to spend time with them. I speak to so many parents where they're like, oh, I don't see my kid. They're in their room all day. They don't want you to be in their room, in your room all day. So, you know, hang out with them or whatever. If they go into the store, as much as annoying it is to follow your parents to the store, Mm -hmm. follow them to the store, okay? (laughs) Because there's all ways to build a relationship. Because you can't just come in, boom, you want to have something, but then you're not given. So you have to build that relationship. And yes, they're your parents, so you think that they are supposed to build a relationship, but it's a two-way street. And a lot of times, there is a roadblock. So changing the narrative you can also start the little gradual steps where they'll also pause and be like, oh, okay, you know, my kid is showing interest in me. Let me also show an interest in them. Do you have anything you wanted to say? I was going to ask, is there going to be a parent segment? I'm good. Yes, I'm going to talk to okay. the parents. Yeah, because, you know, I did a PSA for you, though. 
So send it to your parent and be like, look, we're going to practice this. In addition to that, give them a heads up. Yes. Okay. Like, hey, can you let me know when you you're know available. We can, when you're available so we can talk about this, that, and the third. But then when you say that, me, I'm dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, for what? What do you want to talk about? And then they want to know what you're talking about right then and then. And then yeah. that might throw you off guard. Oh, you don't think I so? mean, if it's something that's been on your heart and mind, like, you should already be prepared to talk about it. Yeah. It may throw them off guard once they hear, like, what it is. Mm-hmm. But that's why you came to them to tell, to let them know, mm-hmm. to let you know yeah. when they're ready. And some things that you can do to prepare yourself, because as much as we're scared or not comfortable to talk to our, our guardian about certain things is because we have our own insecurities, we have our own fears, and you have to be able to overcome that fear, Right. So for yourself, you have to be able to hype yourself up to be able to have that conversation, to Mm -hmm. recognize that your parent is not out to get you. And yes, you may have done something wrong or whatever, but it doesn't, like, just because you did something wrong don't mean there's a pause button or a stop button on love. That, that, that's not true. Okay. They're still going to love you. They may be harsh on you, but it doesn't take away them loving you. So just recognizing that your assumption of how they will react Eight times out of ten, it might be might be correct. But what about the other two that it might not be correct? Mm-hmm. So you can't let that stop you from communicating what it is that you need. Because as I mentioned before, last minute information is so much worse than a heads up. So make sure that you are also getting yourself prepared where you know, okay, I need to be able to overcome my fear. I need to put away my assumption on how my parent is going to react. And regardless of whether they react bad or whether they react good, this is the information that I want to get out. Make sure you're doing it in a respectful manner. Make sure you're watching your tone and your demeanor. Apologize before you get asked to say, I'm sorry. And don't just say, I'm sorry. But say, I'm sorry and why you are sorry. So then that way they know that you have a clear understanding of what you did wrong as well. And if it's something that they did that you didn't quite like, I do I do believe that if your parent does something and you didn't like it, I do believe that you should be able to tell them. But you're not telling them that in a disrespectful way. So just letting them know, you know, you did this and, you know, I felt some type of way about it and it made me feel X, Y, and Z. And then you're communicating that to them. A, a lot of times, I, I personally feel like it, the block from talking to our parents is the assumption of how they will react. What do you think? Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. (laughs) I was also thinking to like, I don't know, maybe take notes in your preparation. Like, jot down what you're going to say. If this Mm. is the response I get, this is how I'm going to respond to that. Or if this is the response I get. So you're going to be there with the paper reading or? No, but maybe like, (laughs) you know, peeking on your phone (laughs) to make sure like the the conversation is flowing in the direction that you wanted to or Mm -hmm. you know to redirect the conversation Mm. um Mm. why you think i just something just came to my mind okay so uh, for our connected hearts page a couple of weeks ago or whatever um i had a conversation about doing a weekly check-in with your partner right yes but and writing it down and i do find that when you write down what it is that you want to talk about it's better for you because Mm -hmm. if you're anything like me i talk a mile a minute so by the time I got to first base, I forgot what number 10 was. Yeah. But I did have 10 things. But, I, you know, a few of them get missed here and there. And then sometimes I'll even add stuff and I'm like, I don't know mm-hmm. what the hell I'm talking about. But, yeah, I think writing it down is helpful Definitely to have points helpful. to make sure that you got everything across. Okay. And make sure it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I know sometimes you can be young and dumb, but, like, be logical with what it is that you're asking for, what you want, or mm-hmm. whatever you're talking to your parent about, because they've experienced probably 30 plus more years of life than you have. So right. don't go to, because, yeah, just make sure it makes sense. What what could you say that wasn't may not make sense? Like, let's say you want to discuss, like, going out. Uh-huh. hanging out with your friends okay you want to go out for lunch with your friends okay you're a sophomore in high school mm-hmm. or maybe even a freshman in high school you want to go out for lunch with your friends cool lunch is like from one o'clock to five o'clock <laughs> so that better makes sense 
Don't, this part. Don't tell them you're going to lunch with your friends at 1 o'clock and you end up back in the house at, at 12 a.m. Hey. I'm with her on that one. Yes. That was lunch, snack, <laughs> movie, dinner, dinner <laughs> dessert. Nighttime sick. You night probably even went to a party before you came home. <laughs> like, make sure it yes. makes sense. Yes. You know, yes. or like... <laughs> <laughs> or like you're trying to get money for a football game. Oh, I need fifty dollars for the football game. Which game? You Are you to? buying the uniforms for that? <laughs> because fifty dollars. You need fifty dollars for a football game. Like for real. Oh, I want to buy snacks and yeah, a hot dog is no more than four dollars. <laughs> you know the time to make you <laughs> prices got time high. To, inflation is not inflating that high. <laughs> It has not inflated that inflation. Oh my god! So I'm with her on that. Make I'm sure laughing, it makes but 100 percent. Make sure it makes sense. You know, that, that or is. like you get in trouble in school and they're coming to ask you about it, and you get an attitude. Yeah, Yo, How are you what mad at them you? for you being in the wrong? Like, yeah. so yeah, just make sure it makes sense. Mm. And yeah, I think that's what we <laughs> make sure it makes sense. <laughs> make it make sense. I love that. That was like very real. Because a lot of times we do have expectations of the other person, but we don't want to have expectations for ourselves, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Makes sense. So, when I'm, I'm talking to my parent about this, and they've been receptive. They're sitting down. They're listening to me and all of those things. What I'm saying is not so positive. How do I prepare myself for the, for the negative reaction? So, we had the conversation, uh, and my mom, my dad, or whomever is like, you know what, I don't agree with this thing that you did and you're going to be grounded. You're going to be, I'm taking away this, that, whatever it is that punishment in your household looks like. How do you prepare yourself for that and how do you process that? What are some guidelines or some advice that you can give? She took a deep breath. I guess going back to making sure it makes sense. If you yeah. get that negative response and you're not so happy with it, I guess kind of retract what you presented to them. Like, okay, this is how I came to them. I did this, this, and this right. Or I didn't do this, this, and that right. Like, it doesn't make sense. But, you know, all in all, like, they want what's best for you. Mm -hmm. So I guess let's say it's the first or second time, kind of just accept it for what it is and then try to do better at whatever it is that you may be trying to present to yeah. them the next time. And take note of that. Like, I think your attitude and punishment is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Because if you are grounded or you're on punishment or whatever the, the, um, the consequence was, and you react with it, combat, combating it with an attitude... Or even more negative behavior, you're just compounding the issue. And what's going to happen is next time you may do something smaller, and they will react larger That's because they're like, bigger, yeah. But not saying that you should act like the punishment ain't a thing, because it is a thing. We understand it's mm -hmm. a thing, right? But you're not just because you're on punishment. Oh, I'm going to stay in my room the whole time, and I'm not talking to you <laughs> because you told me I'm on punishment. So I ain't helping you with nothing. Don't do that. Because what you're showing them is immaturity. Yeah. What you're showing them is you have no sense of remorse or anything like that. I 100% believe you should apologize in the moment. But I also believe that the next day or whatever, you should collect yourself, think about it, and then come back and be like, you know what? I messed up here, there. Um, and then, you know, thank them for listening. You know, when you thank somebody for listening, they're, it, it's, a, like, it's weird. So they pause and they're like, oh, okay, that meant something. Yeah. yeah. And then next time they're more inclined to listen because they're like, oh, okay, you appreciated them listening. Mm -hmm. And you you are actually noticing certain things and you're not taking it for granted. On the flip side, though, if your parent is reacting negatively to something that you're telling them that is not actually negative. Like, it's not negative. I'm just telling you, I don't know, what, what can I be telling you? That like, I like somebody and my, my mom or my dad is flipping out, acting like, you know, I just told them that I have three I kids on the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so in closing, what we're trying to tell you is set the mood, be responsible ahead of time. Don't think that you can just wake up and your parents got to listen to you. They don't. You have to be consistently like be serious. Okay. Don't have them yelling at you for everything. 
and then think they're supposed to roll over and do whatever it is that you want because they they're there to provide for you but nobody wants to be taken advantage of and a lot of times we feel like we're being taken advantage of so then it's like i'm not i'm not even checking for you like that because you don't care about me because if you cared about me you you wouldn't be coming presenting this nonsense to me i like i've had a really tough day working for uncle sam because we all know we don't get the check (laughs) (laughs) working for uncle sam and you coming over here talking about your foolishness that you want this 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 okay sometimes we just be tired mentally mental exhaustion is worse than physical exhaustion so just please Mm -hmm. give your parents grace because as much as you want grace, you have to give your parents grace. They got a lot going on. They got to be responsible for you, themselves, and everything else. So give them grace. Give your parents grace. Any final? And you may say, I didn't ask to be here. Don't say that. But. <laughs> Why would you say that? You know, as a teen, you'd be like, well, I didn't ask to be here. If you don't get it your way. Hey, be careful what you wish for. At that point, very, like, very, very you don't really have a choice. You're here. So make it work yes and make it peaceful not make only it make it make it great who that wants too. to be miserable in life make it great we're not here for a long time we're here for a good time yeah so oh, she said yeah tomorrow is not promised don't make your parents like walking out and stuff like that and you saying negative things to them because they're gonna get in the car and they have all that negativity that you fed them if they went and something happened to them god forbid how you really gonna feel? Don't t- right now you gonna say I don't care. Yes, you do care. Everybody cares about their parent. And one, no- even the people who are extreme from their parents, when something happens to them, they also process um, feelings. Mm-hmm. So please, 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 we don't want relationships with parents to get to the level where it's negative and there's no comeback. So before you get there, build relationships with your parents. Do it. Do it. The Nike, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. And don't be afraid. They, they're they not your enemy. Parents, the kids, they, 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 they may do some things that are negative, but they're not bad. Not 100% anyway. Y'all, I'm vouching for you, so please do better. Okay? And they're still learning. Still, still learning. learning. Yeah. But yeah. you know, some people don't know how to do math. Y'all, can y'all do math? One plus... Oh, you know, I'm talking from a parent. <laughs> I'm a parent. But experience is the best. <laughs> experience thing. is the best teacher. Yeah. So don't say I'm still learning and you know one plus one equals two and you add in five. Like, use it. <laughs> use it, okay? It's there for a reason. Not the hair. The brain. The one inside. Use it. That's all I'm going to say. You know, I'm extra a little bit, but it's okay. But y'all got the point, right? Mm-hmm. I hope so. See you next week. <laughs>